Hey, welcome to The Courage. Thanks for coming out here with me today. In this video, we're going to explore whether or not we can run our diesel heater off of solar power. Uh, I'll give you the short answer. Uh, I'll give you the short answer. No, <laughs> you can't run off of just solar panels. I've got 100 watt solar panels outside. It is uh, on a sunny day putting out about three amps or charging my battery with about three amps but that kind of alludes to the actual answer no you can't just run off the panels you have to have a battery and then charge the battery run the diesel heater off of the battery now hopefully you're going to be producing more power with your solar panels than your diesel heater is going to be consuming otherwise your battery is going to be in a deficit and eventually you'll deplete the battery so at nighttime, obviously, you want your battery fully charged up and being able to run through the night. The question is, how long is the battery going to run? Now you can do the math on that, figure out what the amp hours are for your battery, what the diesel heater's pulling. I'm gonna show you what my diesel heater pulls at two hertz and at four hertz, and then you can kind of figure it out from there. If you've got a, a digital voltmeter with a current setting on it for DC current, you can figure out what your diesel heater's gonna do. Uh, you also have to consider that you don't want to fully deplete your battery, you just want to use it to the point where it's going to need a charge, and so think about how long of a runtime you're going to get at night with it. So I'll show you the setup I have here. I've got 100 watt panels outside. Again, they're, they're charging my a battery, which is a uh, 12 volt marine battery that I bought at Walmart uh, several years ago, actually. It's, it's old and it's probably not in great shape, to be honest with you. Uh, I should replace this battery and I, I think I will replace it. And we'll start up the heater, we'll watch the current draw, we'll see what happens to the voltage on the battery while it's plugged into the solar panels. Um, it is snowing here right now, um, it's overcast, we don't have a lot of power being produced by the solar panels, but there's some and it is going into the battery right now and it will continue to do so throughout the day till it gets dark and then I'm probably going to shut the diesel heater down because I don't really need it going. Um, I just want to work out here today and I'm, I'm actually installing some lights. So let's uh, take a look. Let's start the heater up. We'll take a look at the setup, uh, what I got to measure the voltage and the current. This is the controller. We're getting about 14.4 volts from the panels and at this moment I'm seeing 14.4 on the battery. This is an Everstart 29DC. It is a marine battery uh, bought from Walmart. It says that it has 100 amp hours of capacity. I'm not certain that this particular battery is gonna have that. As you can see, it was purchased back in September of 2018, which puts it at almost six years old right now. So I've got the voltmeter hooked up and the amp meter hooked up to it. We'll start up the diesel heater. We'll watch the draw. You'll see the, the uh, voltage come down as the current goes up. And um, at some point, we'll also take a look at what we're getting from the solar panels going into the battery. So let me turn this on. And I've, I've got the diesel heater set up to run at four hertz. And it should, when it settles down, be pulling about two amps, I believe, or just shy of two amps of current to do that. Now you're going to see that the voltage drops and the current consumption goes up as the heater starts up. It's going to go upwards of about 10 or 11 amps. That's the glow plug heating up to get the fuel burning process going in the chamber. And when the glow plug turns off, that'll drop down significantly. <laughs> All right, so we're hearing the fuel pump kick on. I can hear the burn process starting in the chamber. Um, we're, we've dropped voltage considerably. Uh, we're pulling eight, almost nine amps of current. Uh, and again, I don't think this battery's in the best shape. Uh, we'll take a look at what we're getting from the solar panels in just a second. So we're gonna get upwards of 10, 10, 11 amps. That'll be the max and then it'll kick right down. Also, that's a consideration for folks who are using power banks that have cigarette lighter plugs and they're gonna have a 10 amp uh, breaker on that 
and as you can see that we do get over 10 amps and that's definitely a consideration. So now we've dropped down uh, 2.7, almost 3 and you're going to see this kick down one more time as it gets into its cycle. Now at 4 hertz on the heater we're going to be pulling just under 2 amps of current. I'm going to drop the heater down to 2 amps and you'll see that it'll drop just below 1 amp, or sorry, I'm going to drop the heater down to 2 hertz and you'll see the current draw go down to about 1 amp. Also we should see some of the voltage recover a little bit uh, after the current draw drops down. Okay, so the heater's running at 4 hertz right now. I'm going to slow it down to 2 hertz. So I can't get exactly on 2 hertz, I'm at 2.1 hertz, and you'll see our current draws at uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and our voltage is starting to recover slightly. I'm going to move the amp meter over to the charger side, and we'll see what we're getting from our solar panels. So the solar panels are only pulling about half an amp. So obviously we're running at a bit of a deficit and eventually uh, the battery will run out of power. Uh, I did try this the other day and it was nice and sunny and I was pulling about 3 amps from the solar and it was charging the battery. So obviously a uh, sunny day is better but uh, today's not that day. Um, it's cloudy and snowing. So the other thing you need to keep in mind is that you need to keep some power and reserve in your battery to shut down the heater. When you shut it down it briefly goes up to about 10, 10 amps of pull if I remember correctly and it, it does consume some power. It's not quite as extensive or long as the startup cycle but you definitely want to keep that in mind. You don't want to run your battery down to nothing and then not have enough power to, to properly cool down the diesel heater. So there you have it folks, that's the startup of the diesel heater running off of a, a battery with solar recharging the battery. Again, the answer to the question is no, you can't run just directly off the panels. The panels don't produce enough power or consistently enough power to run the diesel heater directly. You have to have the battery first and then recharge the battery from the solar. So that's going to wrap up this video. I appreciate you coming out here in the garage and joining me. Good luck with your diesel heater project, your solar projects. Please again, subscribe to The Gurge, and we'll catch you later.